Uh, we apologize for my new mic quality. I'm using it on my phone because my laptop is shit. Okay, so here's the Pokemon related one. The unknown are trying to warn us. Look, they're spelling beware of blank. Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> the unknown are trying to warn us. Look, they're spelling beware of Donkey Dong. Look, they're spelling beware of Cloud Strife. <laughs> mm, both could be dangerous, but let's go with the funny one. <laughs> beware of Christopher Robin. <laughs> My name is Bond. Ass to mouth, then back to ass, Bond. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Bond. Princess Daisy's dick obsession, Bond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Both sexual, huh? Oh, boy. Um... Like some dicks. Yeah, pretty much. Her name is Daisy, and obviously. <laughs> oh, wait, like Daisy Duck, not Lazy Dick. Never mind. Daisy Dick? <laughs> Okay, oh, I do like a good one. I do like my dick, actually. <laughs> yeah, I Donald. Peach made a cake specifically for Mario. It was made of, other than love, it was made of moldy bread. <laughs> 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 oh, her cake was made of a puddle of puke and stomach lining. Ew. You know what? That sounds more messed up than moldy bread. Even that makes me churn. The best racetrack in Diddy Kong Racing. Okay, the best racetrack in Diddy Kong Racing is rotating the camera and rock solid and watching Barry shake her big ass all day long. <laughs> oh, charming. <laughs> yeah, she's in that big. Best racetrack in Diddy Kong Racing is Army Dillo's Dilda. Oh, two rare answers in a rare racing game, but... Uh, well, one of... I don't know. One of them sounds like something you could ride on, I guess. <laughs> We're finally getting Super Mario Bros. 4. We're finally getting Mario Bros. 4, Severe Asperger's. <laughs> or Mario Bros. 4, Death Knocking on Your Bedroom Door. Uh. It rhymes. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Knock, knock, open up the door. <laughs> I just learned a new magic trick. It's called Christopher. Uh, I, can't, I haven't got a chance to ask you guys yet. So what were your thoughts on the new Sonic movie trailer? I still need to watch it, but I might have seen clips of it. Yeah, it looks cute. It's silly. You haven't but, uh, watched it yet? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've just been so overworked. I've been so, like, tired lately and panicking about my train tickets. Good what about you, uh, Ruben? What did you think? Uh, I thought it was a good trailer. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think yeah. it looks so much better than the first. I hope it stays that way. Tails look too fluffy. <clears throat> it's cute. Tails looks too damn fluffy. I was not disappointed with Knuckles. Everyone was worried about how he would be portrayed. It's like, I am sold. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, me has no. <laughs> I loved Roger's uh, parody of the trailer. Like, why Knuckles is fighting him. You took my flower. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I met a Knuckles cosplayer, but it's a woman. She actually gave me a kiss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, it's kind of sweet, actually. <laughs> With my the friend Sonic Vicky. Frontiers, I want to be excited for it, but they didn't show enough. But I do like, I, I am interested in the idea of a, an open world Sonic game. So they're finally moving yeah. past the, the dashing system, the boosting gameplay. You know, they're finally past shoving in, side scrolling. We're finally getting a pure 3D Sonic game again. And um, I like how it was confirmed that the voice that Sonic heard was Amy, apparently. So wh what kind of role is she going to have in this game? Like, you're hearing her in, like, a spiritual form? Is she trapped in some kind of realm and her voice is reaching out to Sonic? Or, it's it's a big mystery, but I, I am looking forward to the game. But for right now, not enough was shown for me to get too excited. But I, I am, uh, you know, my attention's open for it. <laughs> Okay, um, I just learned a new magic trick. It's called blatant cultural appropriation. <laughs> or, I just learned a new magic trick. It's called sweater of tears. <laughs> Is this any better, Squidward? I made this one with my tears. <laughs> <laughs> the boy cries your sweater of tears, and you kill him. <laughs> the best event in Rayman Arena. <laughs> I, I'm... Ironic, because I make these questions, but I keep getting the ones where it's like the best blank in video game is. <laughs> best event in Rayman Arena is the shitty camera and Amy controls on the N64 version. <laughs> That's right now, there never was one. I didn't know if it That's, had Rayman, one, that's yeah. Rayman 2. That's Rayman 2. It was so bad, they couldn't release it. <laughs> <laughs> Steve talking with a Brooklyn accent when he gets angry. Steve who? Um, 
Well, you know, Steve from Rayman, you know, that guy. <laughs> but, well, I mean, Rayman 64, I guess. But <laughs> but I like the idea of it was so bad they couldn't release it. And that's why it was the worst <laughs> version. <laughs> Pinocchio and Geppetto used blank to make Monstro sneeze. Oh, <laughs> I am so sorry for this. <laughs> oh boy. Pinocchio and Geppetto used a message written in jizz to make Monstro <laughs> sneeze. Look! <laughs> oh, or Father, what are you meant for this? Sorry? Father, what the hell? <laughs> well, it's our only hope, Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Suicidal photo bombers to make Monstro sneeze. <laughs> It would have been darker if it didn't have the photo in it. <laughs> yeah. Rick, father. <laughs> uh, oh, man. It's kind of funny because I'm fishing right now. Get your mind in a virgin pet, so don't bother me now, Pinocchio! <laughs> <laughs> I asked go for the jizz one. <laughs> you better make it out with a fish. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I hate kissing fucking fishies! Let's see if I can reach his blowhole, Pinocchio! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Father. <laughs> Home of challenge pissing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck you, Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen before. Save room for carries inside me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better save room for her. <laughs> if we get to save room for 5,000 spiders crawling out of a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Morgana's, Morgana's in heaven. <laughs> Darklings in hell. <laughs> Thousands a bit much, but <laughs> eighty baby spiders. But five thousand of them. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you spiders. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki should be taught in school. <laughs> Yikes! Jeez. Heroin exploding in your bum bum should be taught in schools. <laughs> uh, both are pretty extreme. But I'll go with the one that's less offensive. <laughs> really. <laughs> Today, kids, we're gonna teach you. We're gonna learn about heroin exploding in your ass. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> America is now number one in challenge pissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, kids. I don't know the thing is America. <laughs> America is now number one in a good old fashioned game of is it racist? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the Tosh.0 segments. Is it racist? <laughs> or number one in the Tide Pod Challenge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, <laughs> these are both really good answers. I mean, Tide Pod Challenge is kind of over now. So, I'm, and yeah, I'll, I'll go for the first one. <laughs> Rita started singing a song about... <gasps> Oh, really? What am I going to sing about now for the next break of the episode? <laughs> that one. I'll perform for you all. Oh, so- God. <laughs> We're just singing about fucking like you own them. Nobody's <laughs> mama! <laughs> oh, wait, you should just sing about nobody's mother. That was beautiful, Rita. That was beautiful. <laughs> that, that's all beautiful, Dad. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. We just started seeing about sexual fanties about Nicolas Cage. Sexual <laughs> fanties? <laughs> a naughty little cat. The one thing I miss most about Grandpa would have to be... Oh, if it's not oh grandma, God. It's grandpa. This is so wrong. Uh, the one thing I miss most about Grandpa would have to be elderly blowjobs. <laughs> oh, no. For no. frick's sake. It's either blowjobs or hand jobs now, huh? All right, well, this one leaves uh, not as bad of a taste in my mouth, I guess, so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because it's always such a fun one. Blanky, go down the hole. Oh, we be plucky. Set the feather whips your sheet at the mill, go down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Whippies, go down the hole. Grandma, go down the hole. <laughs> Lucky, you sadistic bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits there looking up all cute, sucking his thumb. Blank is my favorite Mario Kart vehicle. 
Getting a blow job on Mr. Toe's Wild Ride is my favorite Mario Kart vehicle. Blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> the Blizzard is my favorite Mario Kart vehicle. <laughs> Always fucking blowjobs. Relates to a vehicle, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, it's Blank Day! Oh boy, it's that thing I can't remember the name of day. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! It's chicken day! There should be a chicken day, but... <laughs> I really want chicken now. Dang it, I want chicken now. I wrote my college essay about... Christ, I remember that. <laughs> I was in college. I wrote my essay... I wrote my college essay about stargazing. I wrote my college essay about Congress swinging cash like Scrooge McFucking Duck! <laughs> <laughs> You win me over this one, you bastards. You bastards. <laughs> you bastards. Don't rule out cannibalism until you've tried a congressman. Ooh. Mmm. Spicy. <laughs> Don't rule out cannibalism until you've tried saggy balls that drop further every day. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather eat a congressman. <laughs> what was Wacko's wish? What did the little monster wish for now? A little rascal. What was Wacko's wish? The best sex a three-year-old can have. Ugh, you oh. Shit. oh, come on. He's older than that, you little monster. Uh, I think it's the worst. Let's we'll see. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> you little shit, Wacko. What was Wacko's wish? Revenge porn. Jesus. This little monster. This innocent, tame little monster. Christmas has been cancelled due to... Please do not say COVID or I'll rip your freaking... Hmm. Something out. Okay, the China virus. <laughs> well, Christmas. shit. Christmas has been cancelled due to Jared from Subway showing kids his $5 foot long. <laughs> oh, boy. Or due to my boss. <laughs> uh, uh, gotta work this Christmas. Thanks, oh. Scrooge. <laughs> ah, Scrooge! Yeah, I really gotta work this Christmas, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah! Here's another bundle of shit for you. <laughs> uh oh, here come the saucy duck ones. Darkwing flatters Morgana by Darkwing duck flatters Morgana by choking herself with the force of masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> I am the terror of Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Queen Duck flutters Morgana by apologizing for finger a girl when it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I thought you were Morgana. And that flatters her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I don't know what is funny. Choking himself while masturbating or apologizing for fingering girl, which wasn't her. You are a sad, strange little man. You have an unnecessary amount of ham. Farewell. <laughs> you have the Nobel Prize in attempted chemistry. Farewell. <laughs> I like the ham one. That's a lot of ham. Oh, yeah. Too much ham. Eat blue ham. Be very careful. If you mix blank and blank, it makes for a very bad day. Be very careful. If you mix hourly bladder spasms and a piercing, it makes for a very bad day. Ooh, yeah. If you mix Sally Denudis chipmunk with a wife saddle, it makes for a very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> both of these are really good. Um... I, th I think I'm going to go for the first one. Because <laughs> yeah. you want the second one, don't you? <laughs> Just <kidding>. um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This man was killed by the actor living vicariously through others' drama. Yeah. Man was killed by those fucking spinning blades. <laughs> so the man was Conker? <laughs> Probably. The squirrel was killed by those motherfucking blades. Does my passion for blank make me unlovable? Does my passion for myself sticking his tongue out, my tongue out, make me unlovable? <laughs> my passion for tempting. Does my passion for tempting diabetic children with a Snickers make me unlovable? Oh. Who's the other tongues then? Hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, I can definitely see that making someone, myself especially, unlovable. But if I did that. <laughs> Who's with the, with the tongue then? I'm not a squirrel. I'm a spider that eats chimps. <laughs> I'm not a squirrel. I'm the burning desire that's driving you to sin. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it in the voice. <laughs> well, the first one's animals, so... Oh, just... I thought the second one sounded more suitable. It's, <laughs> it's, it, it, they were both good. <laughs> what about you, Steph? Does Conquer make you sin? <laughs> yes. Maybe. <laughs> if I was a serial killer, blank would be my calling card to taunt the police. If I were was a serial killer... <laughs> if I was a serial killer, sexy zoo animals would be my calling card to taunt the police. Jesus. Or if I was a serial killer, if I was a serial killer, a Pokemon that is just a keyring would be my calling card to taunt the police. Dumbest Pokemon ever, a bunch of keys. Yeah. You can't handle blank. I think there's worse Pokemon than that, honestly. But What's next, a dildo Pokemon? <laughs> you can't handle my gangrenous cock. Jesus. You can't handle a burning sensation. What's the difference? <laughs> They both sound like awful punishments, but mm -hmm. I think one of them would be a slower, painful process, where the other would be a fast, you know, like it happened quicker. So. Well, <laughs> she called the echidna. The only thing I can't deep throat. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old girls. The only thing I can't deep throat. Well, uh. has gone now, so. Yeah, <laughs> Conquer was supposed to star in an e raid game for N64, but it was cancelled because of <laughs> peer pressure. <laughs> Conquer was supposed to star in an e rated game for N64, but it was cancelled because of Chris Seaver. So true. <laughs> <laughs> Conquer was supposed to star in an e rated game for N64, but it was cancelled because of bunnies. <laughs> Chris Aww. Seaver is just too true. He was the one who came up with the proposal to turn it into an M-Raid game. So, yep, it was all his fault. <laughs> Dipper and Mabel fought over a magic crystal to make Blank bigger. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Dipper and Mabel fought over a magic crystal to make a five-hour erection bigger. <laughs> oh, boy. Or to make... Frostbitten genitals bigger. Why frostbitten, though? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go for the first one. <laughs> My perfect day would have to include blank followed by blank. How are you going to fucking torture me now, you bastards? Mm -hmm. My perfect day would have to include pugs dancing in a circle followed by the assumption that would eventually go away. No. <laughs> I think that they would include Sonic Booms, Rise Lyric, followed by my interminable urge to pretend my anus is an electrical outlet. What? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't think I want to play Sonic Boom, Rise Lyric anytime soon, you fucking... <laughs> but you don't take offense at the other thing. <laughs> Honestly, it, it wouldn't be torture for me because I beat the game and I thought it was okay. If I, I didn't think it was god-awful, but uh, it's like it wasn't torture, though. <laughs> I'd rather stick with puppy dogs. Of course. What am I holding in my ass? <laughs> what am I holding in my ass? Pink eye from ass orgasms. What? I have no uh, idea. Thrill of putting a golf ball successfully into a vagina. <laughs> Wrong hole. I actually can see some sicko doing that. So. <laughs> you guys are watching <laughs> porn lately. You guys are sick. Who's been watching porn? I have a recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I have this recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by Wizpix, scaring the shit out of my younger self. <laughs> I'm not gonna or, lie, he did terrify me as a kid. <laughs> or where I'm yeah. or where I'm being chased by someone baking literally all day. How do you bake while chasing someone? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go for Wispig. What my cookies? What my cookies? I, I know I'm not the only cookies? one, though. Like, I know some people say, like, his intro in the game, like, scared. Uh, it's just like a big b blast of lightning, and he's laughing maniacally. It's like, yeah, it's enough to scare little kids. <laughs> mm. Doesn't help that his boss fight is so ridiculously hard. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to him is just really hard, but... Uh. Mm. 
I still question how I was able to beat that game as a kid. It took me forever, though. <laughs> it is tough. I'm still stuck on it. I suck. I'm not <laughs> racist or anything, but I don't really like Grandma's beige shoes. I don't like <laughs> How dare you? Yes. <laughs> but I don't, re- I don't really like doing laundry. <laughs> like, I can definitely see you looking at the color of a shoes and saying, I'm not racist, but I don't like brown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Float like a butterfly, sting like a blank. Float like a butterfly, sting like getting foot splinters while tree surfing. <laughs> Ooh, that does, that would sting, yeah, I bet. Float like a butterfly, sting like a really classy blackface. <laughs> yeah, I think the first one would sting more. <laughs> I just hope I've not hurt anybody with that one. <laughs> like, so far, I have not been offended by sting. Like, definitely disturbed or disgusted, but never, you know, offended. <laughs> Yeah. But um, you know, I, I already I always add disclaimers that everything we say is not it does not reflect our views. We're just playing an immature oh, okay. game. So. When Badger was a van, he drove around depositing. That was my favorite transformation in Tui. I just loved how indestructible it was. Oh yes, <laughs> ramming those bastard one armed bandits over. Uh, that and the the registers and but then every everyone is so racist against the car. You try driving into Madam Grundy's tent or anything else, and we don't serve your kind here. <laughs> <laughs> car racist. <laughs> Sorry, I only speak to Banjo or Kazooie. Why? Because I'm racist. <laughs> Everybody, every racist bastard in Banjo too should be an answer now. <clears throat> so when Banjo was a van. He... He drove around depositing the salt. <laughs> Once you have um, that bit in nuts and bolts when he goes, we're halfway through the game, we're serving tea and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so when Banjo was a van, he drove around depositing every present Boomer Christmas, every ever present Boomer Christmas songs. Ah, uh, yeah, those. The salt. Salt. <laughs> Finally succumbing to the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Finally succumbing to... Christopher Robin. <laughs> My grandpa died this morning, finally succumbing to the fly of despair. <laughs> <laughs> finally succumbing to the face of a man who knows he's coming too soon. <laughs> succumbing, coming. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Say that three times fast. I don't know. I'm just so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do an original now. It's called Bunny in the USA. <laughs> Clean diapers in the USA. <laughs> There's no such thing. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds We're closest just to diapers. board. <laughs> again, Sorry? diapers and they were clean. I said yeah. compared to the other, that sounds closest to born. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, yeah, clean diapers in the USA. There's no such thing. <laughs> Not anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Did they give you a blank on the bill while rippling pectorals? <laughs> <laughs> Did they give you no gag reflex along those get rippling pectorals? Because you're like a prick. Did they give you a tailor along those rippling te- pectorals? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you're, sorry, you're going to like your <clears throat> weird asshole. You're a prick. The Powerpuff Girls were shocked when Blank showed up at their slumber party. Powerpuff Girls were shocked when Rudy showed up at their slumber party. Rudy who? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, this is a girl's slumber party. Uh, let's see. The Powerpuff Girls were shocked when Baby Dick T-Rex showed up at their slumber party. Yeah, that would be kind of <laughs> shocking. Cute little tail on the front. That's not a tail. <laughs> now serving at Jolly's. <laughs> oh, perfect. God, I got two I could use, but <laughs> now serving at Jolly's, Christopher Robin. <laughs> now serving at Jolly's, penis pals. <laughs> <laughs> That's our same surprise. Yeah. <laughs> now serving at Jolly's porpoise pudding. Dolphin Yay. pudding? That's sad. <laughs> oh boy. Somehow it sounds suitable to a water themed level. <laughs> it does, yeah. 
Oh, that was man. on purpose. You did that on purpose. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about it later. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Do I go with the innuendo or the one that's actually sort of appropriate? I, I guess what I'll playing, that. What, what, what are the whales playing now? Or Karina of time? <laughs> Is it wrong? Oh, fucking hell. Is it wrong that I want to fuck blank? Is it wrong that I want to fuck... Fucking a hot pocket. <laughs> I want to fuck a hot pocket. What? Uh, what are those toaster? Coming? Frog! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to fuck a pocket or a puppet. A hot pocket is one of those to- uh, one of those toaster strudel things that you... With oh, like, uh, they don't have hot pockets filling. where you guys are? Or... No. It's basically an oversized pizza roll. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't want to fuck food. I don't want to fuck a fucking sock pocket. What's this thing playing? God damn it. No. Um, sorry. Oh, fr- my. I need, a, I need a freaking fur clan. Oh, God damn it. I want a better answer. The best thing about late night TV is that things are going to get crazy. <laughs> yeah, this or, duck is going to steal someone's sandwich. The lumberjack fantasies of Wolverine. <laughs> Naughty bat bastard. God. Ah, things do get a bit crazy on late night TV. That was based on a scene from a later episode of Spongebob where, like, there's a disturbing moment where it showed, a, like, a realistic face on Patrick's. So he says, things are going to get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo managed to enter the kickball stadium disguised as Christopher Robin. This almost sounds like something Banjo would do. There we go. <laughs> Banjo managed to enter the kickball stadium disguised as a salmon <laughs> <laughs> Or he disguised himself as a boneless politician. <laughs> I'm Boris Johnson. <laughs> That's a spineless politician. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. I'm, uh... That's close enough, anyway. <laughs> playing Boris Ban Johnson. Oh, God damn it. I'm a salmon soup. <laughs> Sounds like something a bear would do. <laughs> Bears like salmon. So we yeah, don't, don't eat the costume. <laughs> 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 I just beat uh, Nino Cooney 2 uh, last night. Overall, it was a good game, but the story was pretty stupid. Like, it had me at first, and it lost me pretty quickly towards the end. <laughs> just like the first Ooh, game. Okay. Started off promising, then the end, it's just like, oh, God. <laughs> video games lead to shot. Video games lead to Conker getting sued for all the movies he stole from. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's a bad squirrel. So what chat sent out Cowbot. <laughs> Sounds kind of I, I love that Sonic Boom episode. <laughs> Just silly. So what chat sent out Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> oh man. Uh, cow or a donkey? Hmm. I guess Cowbot has would have <laughs> been a bit more. I know, oh, uh, I'm not sure if it's coming out in your region, but didn't you see they announced um, an entire uh, set of Sonic Boom coming to Blu-ray, um, and it has like this new um, drawn artwork for it. And I might get I, like I already own all the episodes digitally on um, iTunes, but um, I've been wanting a Blu-ray release for so long, and I, I hate how they kept releasing it in vault. So now they finally announce a complete set. I'm probably getting yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> first season on DVD. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They've also uh, announced the um, AOSDH series on uh, Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. What would Blu-ray do for that? <laughs> I, I don't know. see Blu-ray benefiting Sonic Boom because I remember seeing how bad the show looked when it ran on a non-HD channel like Boomerang compared to on HD on Cartoon Network, and mm-hmm. um, so it's like, yeah, I can see HD really did help out Sonic Boom, so I can see why Blu-ray is a big deal for that. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of Sonic. Sonic wears gloves to protect his hands from Christopher Robin. <laughs> I really hands. don't know. <laughs> Sonic wears gloves to protect his hands from Tails. Sonic wears gloves to protect his hands from Grounder. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic wears gloves to protect his hands from running in place. Oh, come on! Grounder. It must work because we haven't seen Grounder in forever. So. <laughs> yeah. It's been 20 like, years. Let's see. After years of playing Pokemon Red and Blue, players have found a strange glitch Pokemon that resembles... Hmm. A duck. I always thought a missing no, it kind of looks like a foam finger. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it kind of does. 
I'm surprised they still haven't made it official. You know, like they could easily turn that into a ghost Pokemon or something. But yeah, uh, glitch Pokemon that'd be awesome. After years of playing didn't. Pokemon Red and Blue, players have found a strange glitch Pokemon that resembles a falling 2,000-pound man. So just Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a strange glitch Pokemon that resembles an average-sized penis. <laughs> kind of does. Yeah. yeah that's, that's missing no, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pissing no. <clears throat> Mega Duck always gets the spirit. <laughs> He, get, he gets you in the spirit of anything, it seems like. That's him getting up my ass, son. <laughs> Lord gets me the holiday spirit. Oh, wish. Mm. I wish. Well, fuck it. Negative one. Oh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Blank. The best way to cure a sick pinata. Remember, one of you answered this with an explosion. <laughs> Just put it out of its misery. Hunting wabbits. The best way to cure a sick uh, bunny comb. <laughs> <laughs> bunny comb are so cute. Dookie, oh. the best way to cure a sick pinata. Shit all the green day album. Yeah, I don't know. Shit all the green day album. Man does not live by the last of the dodos alone. Damn, last of the dodos. Dodos. Man does not live by corn cobs alone. Ooh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. So mad that one. <laughs> There's a million people starving in the world, and you're bitching about, and you're bitching about that time gadget at the top of the furry Femi Fatel. <laughs> <laughs> Smooch Dale. <laughs> they went out to pole dance on the USB microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do that in the story. That was after the show. And you bitch about losing a vote into a nut football. Damn it, catch it, you little bitch. People bitched about that? <laughs> bitching about gadget, even. Oh, she goes to kiss Chip. People who don't like furries, I guess. Oh. I ain't a furry. Eight out of ten women prefer. You know, I'm surprised uh, at that uh, awful Game Awards. Show. The only good thing from that really was the Sonic trailers. But uh, I'm surprised they didn't <laughs> show um, a trailer for Sonic Prime or... Um, the Mario movie. But. <laughs> Eight out of ten women prefer barfing out rainbows. <laughs> the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Louise, Louise Ridgeway's favorite movie ever, for, Voice of Berry. That's her all-time favorite film. <laughs> She's a Disney nutter. Well, it's like if they make a Conquer sequel, Chris better put in the Nightmare Before Christmas reference <laughs> for her sake. Um, she went to see it with her daughter live in London, performing with a live orchestra. She was nah. absolutely static. I thought it was quite sweet, quite such a sweet gift that was. Nah. The man, the myth, the taint. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the steel beak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you know what? I like that one. <laughs> Brentilda helped Banjo and Zooey on their adventure by. Brentilda helped Banjo and Zooey on their adventure. Uh, with clubbing the elderly, or by clubbing the elderly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been awesome, and it hurts clubbing Gruntilda. <laughs> Gruntilda helped Banjo because we on their adventure by making eye contact with a stranger while eating a banana. <laughs> I don't see how that would help, but that is a funny image, but yeah, I like the first. <laughs> yeah. And it comes wins. <laughs> Blank, well, a garden of dog turds, the great escape. Fuck, the great escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I it with the Garden of Doctor. If you don't honor the Godfather, you'll wake up with blank in your bed. Well, if you don't honor the Godfather, you'll wake up with a blowjob so good it freezes time in your bed. <laughs> or you'll wake up with Sticker Star in your bed. <laughs> Neither of these sound like punishments. Well, I don't know. I'm saying playing Sticker Star is a punishment. That game was awful. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the real reason for Della's 10-year absence. So, the real reason for Della Duck's 10-year absence. Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> I am done with the Disney Channel. I am more of Disney XD. <laughs> real reason for Della's 10-year absence. Self-asphyxiation addiction. <laughs> bad, bad duck. Bad, bad duck. She's a bad <laughs> duck. She's a bad duck. 
as is tradition, we top our tree with Chris Robin. I saw you know, um, a, a funny picture where someone had um, a plush squirrel as a, uh, a tree topper. And so it really oh. looks like, like from a distance, it really looks like a squirrel perched on top of a tree. <laughs> Wait, is that a National Lampoon nod? <laughs> Maybe. Squirrel? It would have been in the tree, not on the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, such a brilliant film. I'm thinking of topping mine with a Mario cap. <laughs> got this old mario cap that doesn't fit me anymore that it would be a funny nod to mario odyssey because he could throw his hat at a fake christmas tree in one uh, of right. it's actually really cute that nice. as a tradition we top our tree with a lovely bit of incest jesus as a tradition we top our tree with target zone that'd be an awesome tree topper <laughs> just a tiny little target zan statue <laughs> congratulations Poo poo on a popo fruit has evolved into Terry Snotty Bunnies. <laughs> or, congratulations, my BDSM dentist has evolved into just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he finally got over his BDSM habit and now he's just a guy. Let's <laughs> go for that. If you like, leave your name and number and sound blank, I may get back to you. <laughs> just a, that's a great prank for Conker. If you like, leave your name and number and whorishness, I may get back to you. If you leave your name and number and rodents nails on a chalkboard voice, I may get back to you. I had a feeling that was your steps when you said that sounds like a prank. <laughs> That's what he gets for standing me up, little bastard. Conker's like, how do you know, Rodent? <laughs> um, I know one day and we like talk and talk and talk and... Well, let's just say, uh, yeah. Pearl couldn't get a date to the prom, so she dragged Blank along. Ah, uh, that was Patrick who brought his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl couldn't get a date to the prom, so she dragged Mario along. Oh, no! <laughs> How did I get into these? So she dragged me along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is hilarious, gotta say. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Because it's, it's so funny, I'll go for that one. <laughs> it looks awful. That's it's because it's because it's on blank, dear. It looks so awful. That's because it's on what the Keebler elves usually use to fudge cookies, dear. <laughs> well, okay, that's fine, but fudging the cookies, no. It looks awful. I thought it's on cat Susie, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, Cat Susie. <laughs> what? You think she looks awful? No. <laughs> I, I was thinking, like, shit sounds more awful because that's what they're implying the fudge on the cookies are. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. Oh, she's pretty, actually. <laughs> have you tried not running your mouth about blank all the time? Oh, my God. Have you tried not running your mouth about Acme Acres all the time? <laughs> but you and Acme Acres. You probably, probably make a drinking game out of how many times they say Acme or Acme Acres in that mm. show. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried not running your mouth about honey? I shrunk your tits all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go with the first one. <laughs> Professor Utonium added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Hope. Uh, <laughs> that sounds actually wholesome. He added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Alternative facts. <laughs> <laughs> Useless facts. Thus, the U.S. Congress was born. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll go for the wholesome one. <laughs> when Nintendo was informed that Conk would be an m the game, their response was... Fan-fucking-tastic! <laughs> Fear of loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> so when Nintendo was informed that Conk would be an m the game, their, fear, their, fear, their response was... Let's all sing the animals! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not brave enough for blank. I'm not brave enough for Mr. Plots. Another Animaniac troll. Hmm. I'm not brave enough for watching the Miracle of Life backwards. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I can watch it forward. <laughs> It's like that. The, uh, there's like that one disturbing moment from Jimmy Neutron where 
he had that remote that allowed him to rewind and replay time. And then there's like all these people complaining of how he was using the remote. So and that woman, he made me experience the miracle of birth again and again and again. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Deck the halls with blank. Fa la 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 la. Deck the halls with punting puppies. Fa la la la. <laughs> Aww. 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 Kick the doggies. Aww. That's the little bastards. <laughs> I wouldn't do it to a puppy. Aww. Deck the halls with super speed. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I guess he's Sonic singing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Naked duck butts. <laughs> Deck my fridge with naked duck butts. <laughs> you get fridges like you get rid of it. It's like that. Yeah. Oh man, I am really torn between these two, but first one made me laugh more. So <laughs> I, I was really torn. Instead of regular stuffing, we're putting blank in our turkey. Things in our turkey. Just <laughs> thing. We're putting urinal cakes in our turkey. Oh. Yummy. Looking things in our fucking turkey. Never underestimate the importance of Oreos in my asshole. Yummy. Never underestimate the importance of waterboarding grandma. <laughs> God. <laughs> Poor grandma. <laughs> Is that how you treat your elderly, you bastard? I'm oh, sorry, she... but oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's important. She needs to be waterboarded at least once a week. To get the information out of her. <laughs> so, why are the Powerpuff Girls constantly sleeping in class? The erotic joys of giving an elderly man a sponge bath. Oh, God. Mayor? <laughs> now, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm no sugar daddy. <laughs> or or we made buttercup. <laughs> licking Slippy Toad. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> the first one left. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I thought I had it with Slippy Toad. <laughs> they were both fun. Oh, God, I've seen so much shit. <laughs> I got the beans. I got my ketchup. I got the blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I got the beans. I got the ketchup. I got the WB water tower. <laughs> wow. Now stay out! <laughs> I got the beans. I got the ketchup. I got the drugs. <laughs> oh, dang it. I thought I had it up until that. Well, I'm, still get- I'm still getting high at the water tower. I'm still getting high at the water tower, though. <laughs> oh, yes, you can just stay out! <laughs> you little monster. What a peaceful scene. Me, you, the dog, and blank. And drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what a peaceful that. scene. Me, you, the dog, and a bath of KY jelly. <laughs> Jesus. What a peaceful scene. Me, you, the dog, and Pikachu. Aw, I always yeah. wanted Pikachu. <laughs> Aw. Oh, rat bastard. <laughs> Mom, I thought Disney World was a magical place, so why is Mickey blank? Mom, I thought Disney World was a magical place, so why is Mickey using the corpses of babies as boxing gloves? Oh, Jesus! Hey. Naughty Mouse! So why is Mickey concealing your rope burns? <laughs> I see a the last time so. Oh, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> oh god, the first one's so messed up though. <laughs> Chief Lotus in panic when he couldn't find rupees. <laughs> it's Scrooge McDuck's money bin. Ass written backwards. <laughs> you know what's perfect? That is in the same level. <laughs> That's what I was thinking as soon as I saw that. It's like, oh. <laughs> we couldn't find naked duck butts. As Banjo and the gang head down to Bottle's party, they discover... They discover midgets! Midgets everywhere! <laughs> they discover Wario and Waluigi in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But... <laughs> Banjo, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Whoa! What's this? 
What's this? There's blank. What's this? What's this? There's the scariest shit graveyard. Oh, wait, I'm <laughs> home again. Oh, wait, back home, back. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's Hingle McCringleberry. <laughs> Hingle McCringleberry. Uh, I guess that Kringle Santa thing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What's this? Uh, What's this? There's meth everywhere. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> first one made me laugh though. He's like, oh, well, hey, I'm home again. <laughs> The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this? I'll never be able to unsee the po- Disney porn I found on my dad's laptop. Blank and blank should never be seen together. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, dang, if only I saw a Nala. We saw a sword and duck. <laughs> the terrifying sex zones for a deaf woman and Aqua needing to put Terror and Ven on a leash should never be seen again. <laughs> Or Cinderella gagging when she gets to the ball, and Mumbo giving you a good skull fucking shit. You know what <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's bullshit everywhere. What's this? Fucking hell. I should have reversed those two, but they're still so good. <laughs> I am the vengeance. I am the knights. I am the great mighty Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> I am the vengeance. I am the knights. I am Peach giving Mario a kiss on the ass cheek. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> oh, I am bullshit. I am the vengeance. I am the knights. I am the sweet old lady on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> the mental image that makes it's just. I am the sweet old lady on the bus. <laughs> Dang, I thought I had it. <laughs> but that was sweet but. They were both hilarious, but yeah. I believe I can blink. I can believe I can touch the blink. I believe tales being a bitch in Lost World. I believe I can touch a fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you can fly. Oh, <laughs> I believe villains who need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> That's how you can fly. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Too perfect. Who can resist blank covered in chocolate? Oh my god, that was hilarious. And just spray cock covered in chocolate. Ew! Uh, honey chocolate and cock. Yummy! Who can resist my swole biceps covered in chocolate? Banjo, stop that. Both are gross, <laughs> but this one's less gross, I guess. Ah, don't worry, my, bi- my, my biceps go oh. in my clock. Oh, thanks. Who can resist honey and chocolate? I mean, come on. Chocolate covered in chocolate. What's it, chocolate covered in You have any crunchy? I'm ashamed to you. Because the way I'm ashamed to you. I drank, sir. Can I borrow blank? I drank, sir. Can I borrow brand flakes? I'll give it back. Later. I'll give it back tomorrow. <laughs> Drake, sir, can I borrow a striped sweater? You're not my size. <laughs> like that. I was gonna say the brand like, hey Drake, sir, you forgot the milk. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, if I'd have known that one, I might have might have gone with that. <laughs> if that one clicked in my head, I would have might have gone with that. Forget the milk. Beer flavored oxychew. <laughs> Ew! Actually, fine. I can do a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Been chewing on that for ten years. She'd be inebriated. Inib- <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, boys. I'm back. <laughs> Jared's like. Jeez, I only gave it the flavor of beer. There wasn't even any alcohol in there. Funky flavor of beer. Dark Queen. Oh. Ooh, he bastard. Oh. Yeah, he likes to lick him off her tits, yeah. <laughs> or, favorite flavor of beer, alcohol fuel Thanksgiving Day family fist fights. <laughs> <laughs> Currently being pecked by kazoo senselessly is my greatest fantasy. I need it really bad. <laughs> or, currently, a gangrene gangbang is my greatest fantasy. I need it really bad. Jeez. What size? 
Really? <laughs> oh, God. You'd rather take that than Kazooie? No. I don't know. Conquer is finally getting a sequel. Conquer blank. Conquer is finally getting a sequel. The title is Conquer. The gimp walked in my basement. <laughs> Jesus. Conquer and Barry looking damn sexy in their Neo and Trinity outfits. <laughs> I mean, that's a mouthful <laughs> of a title, but yeah. <laughs> ah. Conquer. Oh, my God. For when many Conquer actually looking sexy. That's a fucking laugh. Did you actually write that one, Clint? Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Okay. During karaoke night, Mabel forced Dipper and Grunkle Stan to sing. The Anvil song. <laughs> During karaoke night, Mabel forced Dipper and Grunkle Stan to sing Waka Wanky. Sing Boys Who Cry. <laughs> yeah, that is a band from SpongeBob. So. Ah. <laughs> Otherwise, the first one did almost sound like a parody song. <laughs> Once there was an ugly Alaskan bullworm. It was so ugly that everyone died. <laughs> then. <laughs> Once, it, it fits with the, the theme of the series, I guess. Once there was an ugly fucking paint pot. It was so <laughs> ugly that everyone died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Both are really good answers, but I'm going to have to go with the one that actually is SpongeBob related. So. <laughs> What caused all those men to run down the hill naked? Please hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> what caused them to run down the hill naked? With a Japanese businessman molesting you find your 12-inch dick. Oh, <laughs> That's so wrong. Ah, seeing the exclamation mark shape of a pussy and asshole. The only way to unwind after a long day. Jesus Chris Marlowe's golden voice as the great mighty Pooh is the only way to unwind after a long day. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Time to turn on some relaxing music. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Clear <laughs> your snickering far beyond. What's well, the best thing about quarantine? But just five minutes more, Moan. Oh. Uh, five more minutes. Or your hacked Zoom call. <laughs> I don't think that's actually funnier. That sounds like an ironic, well, you know, sarcasm. I mean. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube web zone for more Endless Abyss of Pokemon the card game pack opening videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hit like and smash that subscribe button for more. Because bottles fucking died. That's why you should hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> you did him a favor. Yeah, there's like a shit ton of Pokemon opening videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Gaston uses blank in all of his decorating. Gaston uses wanking exponent exponentially in all of his decorating. <laughs> Oh boy. He uses masturbating, accidentally frosting your cat and all of his decorating. <laughs> so, both masturbation ones, huh? What is it with Gaston and dicks? I know, he is one. Oh, shut up, you prick. That's not funny. <laughs> oh no, Max. My dad's going to destroy me when he finds out about. <laughs> oh no, Max. My dad's going to destroy me when he finds out about a rare sighting of a Disney cat. Isn't that Pete, isn't Pete himself a Disney cat? <laughs> oh no, Max! My dad's gonna destroy me when he finds out about our dicks duct tape together. Pussy! <laughs> 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 So when he's like at the audio clip and like all you hear is PJ. <laughs> uh, what was that one murder that involved blank? What was that one murder that involved using bombs wisely? Use bombs wisely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that one murder that involved Professor Oak having sex with him? Oh God! I'm guessing he was the one who got murdered. <laughs> oh calm down! It was only a ditto. Or did he murder the Pokemon? Jesus. I'd say <laughs> I'd say it the other way around. Pokemon uh, fought back. <laughs> depends on the Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> Which one it was. Using 
using Ralph the Retarded Security <laughs> Guard as a shield. This is low, even for you. Ah, I didn't using feel a thing. <laughs> using the soft vaginas of newborn girls, this is low. Jesus! Damn Ralph. <laughs> wow. I mean, you would have a better... I... Don't hesitate. When the time comes, just blank. Don't hesitate, Fox. When the time comes, just wish you were an only child. <laughs> I already am, Wolf. <laughs> when the time comes, just crump. <laughs> oh, crump, crump yes, yeah, me. <laughs> oh no, uh, both are funny. But I like wishing you were an only child. <laughs> it's been so long, I almost forgot what going balls deep felt like. Whoa. <laughs> it's been so long, I almost forgot what Clifford the Big Red Dog's Big Red Rocket felt like. Ah, no. Ah, no, no, no. Doggy dick. <laughs> Doggy dick. Yeah, I'll go with the first one. <laughs> the, ah, not, the dirty, but not as dirty answer. <laughs> I don't Disney, freaking... this Disney World is planning to open a new ride dedicated to... Other than... <laughs> <laughs> Other than Christopher <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Disney is planning to open a new dedicate ride dedicated to New Donk City. <laughs> or Roasting Herbert Muddlefoot for Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Darkwing Duck's like, I'm going to be first in line. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you made lots of blank. <laughs> I hope you made lots of spaghetti. This is shit, <laughs> Luigi. I hope she made lots of unidentifiable casserole. <laughs> tummy uh, let's see, tummy custard or a weird casserole. Tummy custard, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. Don't I just have the cutest blank? <laughs> don't I just have the cutest tits? Don't I just have the cutest Twiggy the hamster? <laughs> oh, don't I just have the cutest hamster? <laughs> don't I just have the cutest cartwheels at Mach 3? Yeah, I can see a cartoon <laughs> character doing that. <laughs> She's quite athletic. She's quite playful and bouncy. She's a rabbit. Yes. I'll say, yeah. 